Stop 3, CCC Camp BR9. From this overlook, you can see the remains of CCC Camp BR9, one of two camps that housed CCC workers during the construction of the park's roads and facilities. Camp BR9 was a community of more than 200 people. It was home to the enrollees, a term used for the young men who joined the CCC. Supervisors and trainers and LEMs, or local experienced men, who worked with the less experienced enrollees and taught them work skills. Most of the camp's enrollees were between the ages of 17 and 25. However, if you look at some of the old camp photos on display in the museum, you may guess that some were even younger. When I enlisted in the CCs, I was 15 years old, and you should have been 17. But I was not the only young man in them CC camps. There were thousands and thousands of young kids. They were 15, 16 years old. They come off in ferns, the poor people, and that was $30 a month. You got all your medication, your dental work, good roof over your head, and ripping good meals every day. The enrollees often had little education and few skills when they arrived. Many were required to attend school while in camp, where they were taught mathematics and how to read and write. The CCC also taught enrollees trade skills such as blacksmithing, stoneworking, and cooking. Besides learning new skills, enrollees were paid $30 a month, of which they were allowed to keep only $5. The remaining $25 was sent home to their families. When one looks out over Camp BR9 today, it's easy to imagine the buzz of activity and the sounds coming from this bustling community of young men. Camp BR9 contained a mess hall, sleeping quarters, library, school, blacksmith and mechanic shops, garages, and other buildings, everything the men needed to live and work. In their free time, they participated in a variety of sports and competitions, including baseball, football, and swimming. Because the CCC was set up as a cooperative venture with the military, the camps were modeled after military camps and at first were run by military officers. BR-9 even had a military-style flag post and parade ground where the young men participated in drill work and similar exercises. It's quite unusual to find remnants of a former CCC camp. The reason structures are still present here at BR-9 is because the camp was in operation when World War II broke out. With war declared, the CCC enrollees stationed at Camp BR-9 were quickly reassigned and shipped off to war before the camp was fully disassembled and the site reclaimed. <laughs> 